Hi everybody, Ricky here. I was going to talk about a movie I watched just recently called 8-Bit Christmas. It was a pretty good movie. It's about a guy that reminisces on his childhood talking to his daughter that's his age when he was that age and got one of these toaster Nintendos and gets into all the things that kids went through through like the 80s and stuff. It was a pretty good movie. I'd recommend that you see it. So it got me thinking, well, I'm going to get my old Nintendo toaster out and show it to everybody and take a look at it, which, you know, there's like 15 billion videos out on you know, Nintendo toasters, but it's like, well, I'll get it out anyway, since that was such a good movie. This one's in actually real good condition still, as you can see, the, it's not yellowed out or anything. You'll notice a lot of the Nintendo products, when they get old, if they get real oxidized, from sitting out in the sunlight or in a lot of heat in the shed, they'll tend to be real yellowed out and stuff, and then they got to be restored. This one's in still really good condition, given its age. This one's from, I believe, 1985. This ain't the original one I had. Uh, one I got when I got one was in 1988, which I got the one with the power pad and all that. That one I ended up lending to a friend and I never got it back. So down the road, I bought another one. I found a seller that was willing to part with one. So I picked up this one. Which I like it because it's a original 1985 model. And for the condition of it, it's in really good condition. The pins are all nice and clean in it and everything. Got Super Mario Brothers 3 in there. I think that's probably one of the best games for the system. It even pushes the graphics and made the movie The Wizard happen and some stuff. Great little game system though to show people and look back on. When I bought it, I picked up a few games. Al Unser Turbo Racing. TNC Surf Design. That was a fun little game. Kind of like California games. Back to the Future. It's definitely a harder game to play, but once you figure out how to play the game, then actually it's pretty easy to finish. This one came with the sheathing, like they all used to come with brand new in the box. And this one is Batman. Fun little game. This one I played a lot of back in the 80s, Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link. Some people didn't like this game, but I thought it was great because it was a side-scroller instead of an overhead world like the original Zelda. But I did really enjoy this one. And the next one... 
have here is Rad Racer. Sure, everybody remembers that one. And then the only other game I have for it is Bases Loaded, which I made quite a few of those. I used to have a lot more games for my original system that I lent to my friend, but I just collected this back just to have something. Used to have some really good ones like Mega Man and Castlevanias and some other great classics. This system had so many great games. There's somewhere around like 800 or so games on it, like even in the U.S. But I probably wouldn't have made this video if I didn't watch that 8-bit Christmas. I just got a kick out of that watching just all the shenanigans that went on in that movie. I definitely recommend that you check it out if you hadn't yet. But anyways, thanks for watching and have a great day. <laughs>